How to turn what you already know into vast cash flow. So a great story about Picasso, which is folklore, or maybe it's even true. I'm an optimist, so I believe it. But he actually was proven one of the few artists who made a lot of money and success while he was alive. And the folklore tale takes us in a restaurant in Paris where he was there and a celebrity in those days. And someone approached him and gave him a serviette and said, hey, could you draw me something? And he obliged and did a squiggle and signed it and handed it back to her and then just stared her in the eyes. <laughs> and there was that pregnant pause. And then she's like, oh, how much is that? And he said, 5,000 francs. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> and she said, 5,000 francs, that took you less than five minutes. He went, no, 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 no. That took me my whole life. And I wrote about that story in Life Leverage and built, which is um, one of my books, one of the best selling business books in the UK. And I take that story with me everywhere I go to remind myself if I'm playing small that my 42 humble years on this planet is worth billions, billions. Uh, and how could I even say that? I'm not a billionaire yet, no. But another quick story is one of my mentors is Dr. John Demartini. Uh, and he believes that we all have billions of latent wealth unmanifest in the monetary form, but in our form of highest value. Like I have got a billion dollar ginger beard with some grey patches. <laughs> but every single person on this planet has unique value and therefore has lived a unique life. No two people have the same values and have lived the same life experience. So he would argue, therefore, that if we're all unique, then we all have to be defined as a genius because a genius is someone who is uniquely gifted. But we're all unique. Therefore, we all have to be uniquely gifted. Therefore, we're all a genius. And if someone can be a billionaire, so can you. But what billionaires in monetary form have learned how to do is convert their billionaire of unmanifest wealth and value into manifest wealth and value. So you are a latent billionaire. Now, my billion pound value, I believe, is, is helping as many people on this planet start and scale their business and get better financial education and knowledge because I've dedicated my life to the last 15 years, probably on average 12 hours a day, studying, researching, learning, implementing, solving, serving and scaling. And I've now found that that is my billion pound genius and value. And every single one of us, whether you're listening in Clubhouse or listening on my Disruptive Entrepreneurial Money podcast or watching on my Instagram live, any one of us on the planet, we have that. And if you want to make more money and you want to turn your life experience into income and uh, in your what you already know into cash flow, you just have to figure out how to make manifest your individual genius and uniqueness and life experience and what your niche is that you're going to serve vast numbers of people and how to monetize it and convert it from latent form into monetary form. And some people, when I say this, oh, Rob, that's a bit fluffy and ethereal and, and, and woo woo. I don't actually think it is. Like if you think about everything that um, we experience in physical form, it's all come from the ethereal and intangible. You know, the spiritual creates the material and the ethereal creates the real. So I'm looking here. At, I have a, a quarter of a million pound hi-fi system, which I think is a thing of beauty, which I've collected over a few years. And someone had to have an idea to um, create music on vinyl and then create it digitally. And someone had to have an idea to split the power supply from the rest of the um, circuitry in a preamp and a power amp to get better sound. And someone had to have an idea that we could go live on social media and someone had to have an idea that we could have an audio based conversation platform. So everything that is manifest was at once unmanifest in an idea. And what I now do is teach people how to turn ideas into income, the ethereal into the material or the real. 
So I believe in you and I believe that you've got life experience and problems and pains and difficulties and solutions and obstacles and challenges that you've overcome and knowledge that you've built and contacts that you've built and uniqueness that you've built and energy and enthusiasm and enthusiasm and passion that that needs transferring. And so that's what I'm going to share with you are ways to turn the unmanifest into the manifest and the spiritual into the material and the idea into income. So on my Instagram stories, I just did a recent story. Uh, Now, of course, if you're not listening in live, you might not be able to immediately access it. And I think that there are seven main ways to turn what you already know into cash flow. So number one is create content and make them assets. I'm doing that right now. I'll share with you how. Number two is to be on all platforms omnipresent simultaneously. I'm doing that now. I will show you how. Number three is to create ongoing subscription revenue from your products and services uh, and your messages. I am doing that now. I will show you how. Number four is to leverage ads and sponsorships. Number five is to build your digital asset portfolio. I am doing that now. I will show you how. Number six is to create masterminds, mentoring and consulting from, from your experience. Uh, And then number seven is turning your passion and your experience in life into online information or e-commerce. So number one, creating content into assets. So um, I'm building a digital real estate portfolio, which I believe one day will dwarf my physical real estate portfolio. Right now, my physical real estate portfolio has 1300 tenants across hundreds of units Um, worth tens of millions of pounds. In fact, our last one, just our last one apartment block is worth $25 million. But I believe my digital real estate portfolio will dwarf that one day. And so your digital real estate portfolio is your content that gets saved and viewed and shared. Uh, It is many other resources, which I'll talk about in a moment. But if you go live, do a piece of content and then crack on with your day, That content is not an asset. Whereas if you go live and then record that content, that content is a potential asset. So I'm live on Clubhouse and Instagram. I'm also recording for my podcast. So from this, I'll have audio on Clubhouse and podcast. I'll have visual live on Instagram. I'll have recorded video from Instagram. And then we can transcribe into written for blogs, SEOs, Facebook, LinkedIn, Reddit, etc., And so we've got written audio video live, W-A-V-L asset out of content that I recorded previously. So on my TikTok right now, we've got a video that's nearly 3 million views. And that was a 12 second cut of a podcast I did months ago. So that's the power of content repurposing on content as an asset. So if I can just get you to think about each time you create some content online, you turn it into an asset. If you do a public speech, you get the recording off the promoter. If you do a live, you save the live onto your phone so you can use it for other channels. If you do an audio on Clubhouse, like I am now, save, record the audio onto your podcast too and save the audio. And then all of a sudden your content doesn't become exchanging time for money, like essentially a job it becomes an asset. It also motivates and incentivizes you to create more content. Because so many people are, oh, content, I don't know how, it's really hard, I haven't got enough time, I'm too busy, I'm overwhelmed, fuck my life. But it's actually not that difficult. I mean, if someone like me who's a simpleton from a, a town called Peterborough that even people in London haven't heard from, let alone across the world, if I can do it and I'm rubbish at tech and I, you know, I get overwhelmed if two people talk to me at once, If I can do it, you can definitely do it. So um, my highest downloaded podcast is episode one. It's my oldest podcast. I did it over six years ago. Um, Some of my highest viewed YouTube videos are the oldest because they continue to get ongoing views. So it's like, you know, your oldest properties that you own, i.e. you've owned them for five or 10 or 20 years, are going to have paid you the most cash flow because they have the most amount of months of recurring income. Well, your content that you've created, that you've saved, that's the oldest especially on continually viral channels. So LinkedIn seems to mature um, and YouTube seems to mature. TikTok seems to go viral and then stop. But actually, I'm finding now my Facebook lives seem to mature. So channels that mature over to podcasts, they mature. Podcasts are like fine wine. 
YouTube is like a fine cheese. <laughs> TikTok is like a piece of fruit, like a banana. Um, so this leads me to point two then, which is being on all channels and being omnipresent. So we all have our favorite channel, don't we? Some of you might prefer video, audio or pre-record or live. Some of you may prefer Instagram or Facebook or OnlyFans. Leverage your assets, my friends. Leverage them wisely. <laughs> Turn your assets into cash. But whatever platform you prefer, you go and create content on that platform and then you repurpose it across multiple platforms. So I like riffing it in clubhouse rooms. I like going live on social channels. I like engaging with the people in the um, room or on the live. I really enjoy that. I can see right now we've got, you know, Ryan and Sandra who've tuned in live. I can see um, that we've got, oh, 235 people live in the clubhouse room. I'm on the stage with Dylan and Ed and Jesson and Caroline. And I really enjoy that, you know, being around people live. Some people hate that and they want to do pre-recorded content so they can edit it and get it perfect. In that case, you know, you've got your podcast or you could do um, 15 second TikTok videos with a couple of takes. But what you do is you create content on your preferred channel and then you repurpose them across multiple channels. This is how the big time influencers are doing it. Right now, I'm growing up more than 35,000 organic new followers a week. Now, I only need 15,000 new organic followers a week. No bot followers, no bots. 35 plus thousand organic followers a week. I only need 15,000 organic followers a week and I'll be at 6 million by the time I'm 50. So a bit of consistency um, really plays. And if you're on all channels, eventually you'll pop and go viral on them. So, you know, if you look at my clubhouse, I've got 275,000 followers. My Instagram is up now nearly 100,000, all organic, no bought. Um, also, we've just popped on TikTok. So we've gained 30,000 followers in the last week. We've had one video at nearly 3 million views. So if you don't smash it on Instagram, you might pop on clubhouse. If you don't pop on clubhouse, you might go wild or viral on Facebook. I had my first million view live on Facebook a few weeks ago and my my um, numbers on my lives are up 10 to 15 times now. My reach is up 40 times since the start of the year and I was already getting hundreds of thousands a month and now I'm getting millions a week. And I'm just a little ordinary old British guy. I'm no Grant Cardone or Gary Vaynerchuk or Oprah Winfrey or, um, you know, OmniFan stripper or anything like that. And by the way, I'm not knocking that. Belle Delphine sold used bath water and made millions from it. Jake Paul and Logan Paul and Mr. Beast are these YouTubers making tens of millions by doing entertainment. So we are, really are in the world of virality. It is easier than ever to go viral. It is a more level playing field than ever. You don't have to have a big following anymore to go viral. You just have to have viral type content. So that's the second one on my Instagram story. I've put a little Instagram story up for you where you can see the content that I'm sharing. Um, seven ways to turn what you already know into vast cash, cash flow. Number three, then, is to create a subscription model from your knowledge. So you could set up on Patreon. You could set up a supporter program on Facebook or you could set up on Kajabi and have your own membership site. Now, um, I'm just arranging for the founder of Netflix to speak at my next recurring income summit. Netflix have 193 million users paying eight pounds, 10 pounds for I think 13 pounds is the HD subscription that, you know, or the 4K or whatever. 193 million times 13. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. That's in the billions of in the months of recurring residual and passive income. So you need a premium platform, a subscription platform. Jo John Lee has JL.club. I have Rob.team and supporter platform earning tens of thousands of dollars a month just from adding extra premium content like an Ask Me Anything Live or a behind the scenes piece or extended episodes and interviews. And these are easier than ever to start. You can do them without having to put any money down. You can do them by just, you know, literally setting up an account using their own payment gateway, gateways and merchants. Uh, it's a very powerful way to grow your um, cash flow recurring from what you already know. 
Number four is to leverage advertising and sponsorships. And, you know, like I said, I was a little bit British about this. So I was lucky to already have made my millions by my early 30s and tens of millions by my mid 30s. So I could go into creating a YouTube channel or a podcast or something like that and not have to monetize it from day one. In fact, I used to be an artist, so I'm very much like, oh, you know, it's, it's not about the money, it's about the art form. And so for years on my YouTube and podcast, I never had any, sub, any sponsors or any advertisers. And I've left millions of pounds on the table for that. And I'm going to change that. So we've got Blinkist as a, a sponsor. We're getting other sponsors now. And I'm going to have good fitting, aligned, good brand sponsors and advertisers for my events, for my social channels, for my podcasts and YouTube channels. If, look, if I would promote them anyway, because I love them, I love Alexander McQueen, I love um, Patek Philippe, I love um, Apple, I love Zoom. So if I love them anyway, why don't I get them as a sponsor and you know make a six figure yearly sum or more from having a sponsor? So leveraging ads and sponsorship, that's massive. I'll, I'll do some deep dive content on ads and sponsorship and how to bag them and doing it specifically and what the difference is another time. Number five, then, is building your digital asset portfolio. So um, if you can't answer yes to nearly all of the following, you need to mark my words and heed my instructions. So do you have an NFT? Do you have your own crypto or currency or blockchain? Do you have your own domain names that have traffic? Do you have blogs and articles that are well SEO'd that have a lot of hits? Do you have a lot of clubhouse followers and people in your clubhouse rooms? Do you regularly get people on your Facebook, Instagram and LinkedIn and TikTok lives? Do you have a good number of followers on all your social channels? Are you on all social channels? Do you have a subscription like Patreon or OnlyFans? Do you have digital real estate? Because if you couldn't say yes to most of those, you don't have any digital real estate. And you can reach tens of millions or billions of people at the speed of light through fiber optics on the Internet. So you need to build a digital real estate portfolio, not just a physical real estate portfolio. Now, um, I, I my Lamborghini is broken down and it's in the garage and I can hear that they're just coming to pick it up. So I have to go in a minute. Um, if you want my advice that's better than all of this, never get a Lamborghini Aventador ever. It looks beautiful and that's as far as it goes. The thing's always fucking broken down. They're always going to have to travel 100 miles to go pick it up. I accidentally clipped the wing mirror and instead of it just moving and then popping it back into place like most cars do, it snapped off. And that's a five grand bill and I haven't drove it all summer because you can't get a fucking um, wing mirror for love nor money because of the supply chain. So I've left it in the garage and then the battery is gone. And when the battery goes, it resets the entire computer. So now it won't even go into gear. So now I can't even get it. Um, started again. And I live in Peterborough, which isn't London. So they have to travel 150 miles to come and get my car and have to get a low loader and reverse it all out. And that'll cost me 1500 quid. So that's a seven and a half grand bill. And then I'll drive it twice. And then there's something be wrong with it. And then I'll look at it in the garage for an anyway, first world problems. <laughs> but I'm just saying, um, I have to go in a moment. So I'll probably hand over to Ed or someone like that. Um, but if you need to build a digital real estate portfolio, you need to have multiple streams of income from online assets. You need to have recurring income streams. And this is how you can do it. And this is how I can help you do it. In a couple of days time, I am launching my cult classic make cash challenge. So um, I haven't actually run one since the lockdown because I've had other things on. But I'd run about three challenges a year, but they are very unique and different from any challenge you've ever been on. Why? Because they're strategies, tactics and instructions every day to actually physically make cash, not theory, not um, just sort of people talking and educating you, but five actions every day to go out and do to put cash in the bank getting referrals, selling to existing clients, creating an ideal client profile so that you can find new clients, understanding what content to put out there and what message to your ideal clients and what social channels to be on, how to sell on social media without selling what, with what I call SBOs and CBOs. So if you'd like to get access to this five day make cash challenge, it's simple to do. You need to join my uh, Rob.team platform. 
Uh, now, it's just the investment of one cup of coffee per month. I have 62 coffees a month that cost me £3.50. And you just need to invest one of those, £3.49, and you're in to the Rob.team platform. And next week, over five days, three videos a day, I'm going to give you practical actions and strategies and tactics to actually put cash in the bank. So the link is simply Rob.team. Just go right now to rob.team. You don't even have to put in www. In fact, don't. Just write and go now, rob.team, because this is actually starting very soon. Now, if you miss a day, don't worry. I'll get the recordings for you. If you can't make every day, don't worry. I'll get the recordings for you. But if you go right now to rob.team, you can either join on Facebook if you prefer your content on Facebook and you're on there a lot, or you can join on my non-native platform if you don't really like Facebook, they're, but they're exactly the same. Jump on right now at rob.team. And what will happen is we will give you a full agenda of that five-day challenge in advance. I'm giving away tens of thousands of pounds of prizes and masterminding and mentoring, even dinners with me for the winners who put mo the most cash in the bank. It's not about invoices. It's not about theory. It's about putting cash in your bank. If you'd like to make five times the income in one fifth of the time, cash in five days that you haven't made for five weeks or five months, because that's what this is why this uh, challenge is unique. Go to rob.team right now. Now, here's how it will work. What will happen is day one in the morning, I'll give you three to five actions to go make cash and I'll tell you to go do it. In the afternoon, I'll have a deep dive masterclass from a multimillionaire um, contact of mine who will teach you a strategy that makes quick cash. And then in the evening, we'll do Q&A debrief, challenges, questions to overcome. And then day two, we'll repeat the process. I'll give you three to five actions to go and make cash. Masterclass in the middle, debrief at the end. And we do that every day for five days. I have competitions, leaderboards. I will bribe you and incentivize you to make cash in the bank. The last challenge we did, the winner did nearly $50,000 cash in the bank in five days. Now, if you're already a Rob.team member because you follow me or a supporter program member on Facebook, you don't have to do anything. You're in. But if you're not, you just simply go right now to Rob.team. Join my platform for just £3.49, less than $5, less than a medium skinny cappuccino extra shot. I believe you could get a 10,000 or 100,000 percent ROI on that. Now, if you know what to do but haven't done it, want to make more money, have had a bit of a struggle the last couple of years, need accountability, want to push over the line, want support and also want the things that really work, not the fluff and theory, but what actually works, you need to join right now by going to rob.team. This starts in a couple of days time. I've got over 3000 members. We will be going live three times a day. We will save all the content and the recording. Now, and you can access that, that at any time if you miss any, but you have to be a supporter to access all of the uh, recordings. If you don't go to rob.team right now, you don't get access to the recordings. And what a lot of people do is they do the five day challenge and then they do it every couple of months themselves by watching the recording. Now, a quick one before I finish, when you go to rob.team, you'll see on that page, there's loads of other things on that page. So um, I sometimes, when I travel the world, I'll just do a, a shout out to my supporters. If you're in London or LA or anywhere like that, let's meet up for lunch or dinner. And I've done that for 30, 40, 50, sometimes 60 people at a time. I give you VIP and premium tickets for many of our events completely free. I do an Ask Me Anything live video every two weeks. I do a masterclass every two weeks. There's 15 masterclasses already in there. So you get all of that. But for this particular purpose right now, Go to rob.team because you cannot do the make cash challenge anywhere else. Free advice is worth every penny. Invest a cup of coffee and let's help you make a lot more cash in the next five days. Some people make more cash in five days than they did in five months. So go right now to rob.team. I hope you found my content useful. I had to miss out a couple at the end there. Um, I'll cover them in another episode purely because um, I've got a crack on. So, Ed, are you all right if I hand over the room to you? One second before, before we do, just if you're in the audience and you haven't.